so in this video, we're going to talk about calculating density, mass, and volume. So, uh, so, so we're going to talk about calculating density from you know the volume and the mass and etc. Okay, the process is what we need to be familiar with. And so, if I look at this question, it says a small nugget has that is suspected to be gold has a mass of twenty two point five grams and a volume of two point three eight cubic centimeters. The density of the solid is nineteen point three grams per cubic centimeters. Is the nugget pure gold or not? Well, essentially, um, the, the density, we got to find some sort of density that matches this in order for us to confirm that this is actually gold. Now, that's not what we're really concerned about. What I'm really concerned about is the process, okay? So we know the density is equal to mass divided by the volume. Okay? And this formula is important because if you know either or, you could figure out you're unknown simply by, uh, by simply by manipulating the equation. And so if I look at this, the density in this case, well, then we know the mass to be uh, 22.5 grams. And we know the density, well, the volume to be uh, 2.38 cubic centimeters, okay? And so if I divide these two numbers, I should get around 9.45 grams per cubic centimeter. So we could confirm that the actual the actual um, stuff is not gold, okay? And so this is how we'll calculate the density. Now, this question might not make any sense, okay? But I switched the question around because now I want to show you, okay, well, what if we're not given a mass, okay? What if what if we, we need to find the mass given a volume and density, right? Um, okay, so if I look at this, well, it says a small nugget that is suspected to be gold has a volume of 2.38 cubic centimeters. And the density of solid is 19.3 grams per cubic centimeters. Is the nugget pure gold or not? Again, this part I'm going to ignore. I just wanted to see the process. I just want you guys to see a process of how I manipulate the equation. And so if I'm solving for the mass, we know the D is equal to M divided by V. And so if I solve for mass, I'll multiply by V on both sides. Okay, and so in this case, we get the mass to be equal to the density times the volume. Okay. And so if I look at this, the mass will be the density, which is 19.3 grams per cubic centimeters. I'm going to simply multiply that by the volume, which happens to be, uh, sorry about that, 2.38 cubic centimeters. Okay, well, notice that when I multiply these, my cubic centimeters and cubic centimeters will cancel, right? It's on the bottom, it's on the top over here. And so we'll be left in grams, which makes sense, right? Because mass, we usually measure in grams. Okay, and so if I multiply, take out my calculator, multiply 19.3 times 2.38. Um, and multiply by 19.3 uh, uh, 19 times 2.38, then I'll get 45.9 three, four grams. Okay. So again, the question is not really what I want you to focus on, especially for this one. Okay. What I want you to see is the process of using this formula, you know, to find the mass or given the volume, you know, you could find a density, given the volume and the mass, you could find a density. Okay. So that's, that's the, that's the, that's, that's the reason this video is made more about this formula and less about the question obviously the first question makes sense but i switched the numbers around and just the, the the question in itself does not make any sense but again you will see that if you know the mass or you know the volume you could calculate either and, and that's the major takeaway from this video